What's up guys, my name is Danish and welcome back to the channel. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately around NCI, around different courses like data analytics, cybersecurity, cloud computing, uh, which one to choose, which one is best for you, why is it best for you and all that. So I'll be covering all of these three courses in a little bit more detail and I'll be giving you a lot of information around scholarships if you are into it. So stay tuned and let's get started without wasting any further time. All right. So why would you even want to go to NCI in the first place? If you are like me, you would want to evaluate uh, the college based on a couple of factors. Number one, how is the culture in the college? Now, NCI offers a very, very collaborative and engaging culture, right? So for example, if you are a student there, uh, you can reach out to any student for combined studies. You can reach out to the professors for extra mentorship or extra guidance or on any particular subject. So it's a very, very collaborative culture and I'm sure you'll, you're gonna enjoy that. Number two, uh, the skill set of the professors and the lecturers. Now, most of you already know that I was a teaching assistant at NCI and I can personally vouch for the brilliance and the excellence of uh, the staff members and the lecturers. So whenever you go to a professor uh, for any particular question, even if it's outside your curriculum, uh, the professors will be able to answer it uh, in a very, very satisfactory manner. So you can take my word on that. Number three, the area around the college. Now, the area around the college, I like to call it as the European Silicon Valley. And the reason is there are a lot of companies around NCI. For example, you'll find PwC, you'll find Facebook, you'll find Microsoft, Google, YouTube, KPMG. So not just tech, but also financial based companies as well. Right. Deloitte is nearby. So you won't have any any problem when it comes to the commutation part because you can rely on public transportation. There are a lot of places where you can go out and eat and then come back to the lecture. Um, you know, or your particular assignment, whatever that is. So I think all of these three factors can make NCI an ideal choice. So if you're having second thoughts, don't worry, you can take my word on that. Now let's move on to all three uh, courses, starting with number one, which is data science or data analytics. Now masters in data analytics at NCI is one of the top courses where students take admissions into. And the reason is because that course not only offers a theoretical side of the experience, but also practical side of the experience. So for example, if you are studying statistics, one module of statistics, the very next day, you might actually have to create your own model of the statistics practically. So theoretical side, you should do by the way, and the practical side will help you get a job a lot more smooth a lot, a lot more quickly. I've seen people getting the job even before they complete their courses. So that's the advantage of data science. Now we made another video that goes into a lot more detail as compared to this one. So I'd recommend you check that out. But you might ask, what is data analytics? Basically, data analytics, a person becomes the doctor of the data. You know, the uh, process goes from extraction of data from different disparate data sources. It could be Excel, it could be different databases like SQL database, uh, cloud databases, uh, raw files, the CSV files and stuff. Uh, and then you have to extract that meaningful, actionable insights or that information. And then not only that, you also have to present those informations or those actionable insights to your line manager, to your you know, leadership team, to your business managers, business unit heads, so that they can take decisions based on top of your findings. That process is called as data analysis. You analyze the data, you might actually end up cleaning the data, then you have to present the data uh, to somebody who will take the decision. But now the million dollar question is, is data analytics or data science at National College of Ireland the best choice for you? Now I'd say that if you are having a technical mindset or analytical mindset and if you are a lot more into the mathematical side or statistical side, then I'd say data analytics is probably the best course for you and why not choose that? Uh, because you will not only enjoy the theoretical side and practical side, but also you will love working with the data on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, because data analytics is very, very critical in nature, it comes up with a specific set of entry requirements. Uh, the entry requirement is that you have to have a minimum of level 8 degree before you are able to take the admission into master's. Um, and then you also have to have 65 to 70% marks in your bachelor's or BSc or, you know, uh, B.Tech, uh, which you can do obviously in your home country. And then at the same time, you also have to have IELTS academic. Now, people actually ask a lot of questions like, do I have to give IELTS general exam or IELTS academic exam? So the answer is that you have to give IELTS academic exam. And not only that, you have to score a minimum of IELTS band six or equivalent um, in the individual modules as well and overall as well. And then you can take the admission into masters in data analytics. Now the data analytics course runs twice a year, number one in September and number two in January, and both of them are highly competitive. So NCI takes the admissions based on first come first serve basis. So if you are planning or if you are having second thoughts, I'd say don't wait, just straight jump into it, just pay the fees um, and then book your seat. Basically, you can always apply for the course without paying any particular fees. You don't have to pay anything, but in order to confirm the seat, you have to actually pay the fees in full. 
Now when it comes to the laptop requirements, once again I have created an entire dedicated video just on the laptop requirements. So if you are into the market shopping for new laptop, whether you should go for a MacBook or whether you should go for a Windows based laptop, how can you save a lot of money, I would once again recommend you go check that video out. Um, so it will go into a lot of detail for specific courses which laptop would be the best for you, whether you should buy the laptop here in Ireland or you should buy the laptop back in India or different, you know, your home country. How can you save a lot of money when you are shopping for the laptop? Uh, so once again, go check that video out. And lastly, uh, the duration of the course. So whenever you do master's course, irrespective of the fact whether you do master's in data analytics or cloud computing or cybersecurity, it's one year in nature, right? And that one year uh, has three different semesters. Once again, I've covered this in my previous videos as well, but just in a high level. Uh, the first two semesters are theoretical and practical. And then the third semester is based on your thesis where you have to do some research and then you have to present it to your uh, professor or lecturer and then you'll be awarded your master's degree. Now I'm holding on the scholarship section just yet because I have a dedicated chapter towards the end of the video, so stay tuned. But let's move on to the next uh, course, which is Masters in Cybersecurity. Now, right off the bat, you might ask, what is cybersecurity? Now I'll answer this question by emphasizing on the word data, right? In the modern world, uh, the data is everywhere and that's why like it you have to prevent you have to protect your data falling into the wrong hands for example you don't want your credit card to be used by someone else right you don't want uh, your credit data to be seen by someone else and then misuse it so you have to protect it you have to prevent it in some manner shape or form that is cyber security now cyber security is one of those fastest growing it sectors these days so just imagine the amount of possibilities just imagine the amount of opportunities different companies would have when it comes to cybersecurity, right? So whenever you hear these buzzwords like malware analysis, network analysis, penetration testing, IT laws and ethics, these are the things which NCI course directly focuses on. So just imagine what you will gain when you just enroll into this course. I know some of you have come up to me and asked that I have a confusion whether I should enroll in cybersecurity course or not. To be very frank, I don't see a reason why not. Right. If you have a hacker mindset, if you are more of into the vulnerability testing, uh, penetration testing, so this is one of the great courses for you. Definitely, I'd say, uh, you know, go ahead and roll it as quick as possible. Right. But if you are more of into the software side, uh, if you are more into the development side, if you want to build something, right, uh, then don't go for this because there is no correlation. Right. By enrolling into the cybersecurity course, you might end up at uh, an antivirus company, which is, for example, Nord Antivirus or Avast Antivirus. You know, you will be responsible for securing or protecting the valuable information which the company has, like uh, the sensitive information, for example, uh, the financial transactions uh, which a company does, the POs which a company does and stuff like that. So it's one of the great courses if you are into you know, cybersecurity and if you have that hacker mindset. I'd say don't wait, don't have a second thought, just go and enroll into this course. And as a matter of fact, uh, just by enrolling into this course, you will actually uh, end up you know, stepping up the corporate ladder very, very quickly, right? And you will have a lot of growth potential within the company that you are working for. In fact, you can even be a manager very, very soon. So that's how powerful the cybersecurity course at National College of Ireland is. Just quickly going through uh, the core components of this course, or I should say, what exactly will you be studying here at National College of Ireland if you decide to take cybersecurity course? Uh, there are fundamental uh, topics, for example, uh, security fundamentals, uh, secure programming for web, network security, penetration testing, IT laws and ethics, uh, cryptography. Now, I'll hold off here for a second. Uh, you have already seen the boom of cryptographies and cryptocurrencies in today's world. I probably don't need to explain what cryptographies and cryptocurrencies are. So just imagine if the boom for one particular topic could be this much. Just imagine the amount of opportunities that cybersecurity domain is going to have in the next few years or next, next few decades. Just imagine if you have those skills, what you can achieve going forward. Now, once again, cybersecurity is also a very, very critical domain these days, and it does come up with some of the entry requirements which are comparable to the data analytics course. So once again, you should have at least IELTS band six or equivalent in every single module and overall. Plus you have to have at least 2.2, which is equivalent to 65 to 70% marks in your level eight degree, which is bachelor's or BSc or BTEC. And then exactly the same story, I was there for data analytics. This course also runs twice a year, once in the month of January and once in the month of September. Once again, both of these courses, or both of these intakes, I should say, are very, very competitive. So if you are having second thoughts, I'd say, go ahead and take the admission into it. Once again, applying is absolutely free, of course, but that doesn't guarantee you uh, that you have the admission into the course or you secure the seat. In order to do that, you already know what you have to do. You just have to pay the full fees and then you are good to go from there. 
And then the last two things, once again, the laptop requirement, I will redirect you to my previous video, which I've already made on the laptop requirements. Um, so because that goes into a lot of details. And then I'm once again, just holding off the scholarship section just yet, because I have a dedicated, uh, you know, chapter towards the end of the video, which we'll talk about in just a second. Now, moving on to the final course, which is MSc in cloud computing. Now, data is coming in every possible shape and sizes. It's gigantic, it's enormous in quantity and nature, right? There is unstructured data, there is semi-structured data, there is structured data as well. And it's increasingly becoming difficult to store and manage and organize and clean uh, the data and then put that into the central repositories like SQL Server and NoSQL uh, you know, databases. So how would you solve that problem? This problem is basically solved by putting your data on premises or on the cloud platform. Right, you might have heard a lot of buzzwords like AWS, which stands for Amazon Web Services, um, Azure, right, Dropbox, and then Google Cloud, and all of these things. These are the cloud platforms where you put up the data and then you can share it with your friends and family. Basically, I'll give you an example. So whenever you want to share a big file, right, for example, we tend to share movies every now and then with our you know, close friends and family, uh, and brothers and sisters. But then basically you have heard that you put the movie on the Dropbox, and then from Dropbox, you share the link with another you know, person or your you know, friend. But what exactly is Dropbox? Dropbox is a cloud platform or a cloud environment, which is used to store a whole bunch of different data and then share it with one another. You know, cloud computing is another state of the art IT industries these days, and it focuses on things like quantum computing and DevOps. And the best part is that NCI's cloud computing course focuses exactly on that. Now, just to give you a little bit more detail as to what NCI's cloud computing course focuses on. So there are a few different modules. For example, number one is cloud architecture, which means basically how your cloud platform is designed. How would you store? How would you organize? How would you manage uh, the data which is stored on the cloud platform? This is followed by cloud's DevOps, cloud's platform programming. And here's the interesting one the blockchain concept and technologies. Now blockchain and cryptocurrencies, you already know from the previous section and from the news going on these days, blockchain have totally dominated the IT industry or totally dominated the market. These are the things which NCI's cloud computing course focuses on. So you'll be highly trained on uh, the cloud platforms and architectures and cloud programming and scalable solutions. So I'd say go about it. And once again, since cloud computing is also one of the critical courses, it does come up with the same comparable, you know, entry requirements like you have to have at least 2.2, which is 65 to 70% uh, marks in your bachelor's. Uh, you have to have at least uh, IELTS 6 or equivalent in your individual modules and overall as well. And for the laptop requirements, I'll once again refer you back uh, to the same, to my previous video basically. And now is the time for scholarship, which I know everybody is very, very eagerly waiting for. All right, so NCI automatically assesses every single applicant, every single student for a certain amount of scholarship, which could range from 2,000 euros to 4,000 euros, but it does have a specific set of rules. For example, how many marks did you get in your previous qualifications? Uh, what projects did you do? Um, you know, are you applying for a relevant course or not? But that's really the first half of it. The next half is that you uh, book a one-on-one -on -one appointment, which is absolutely free of cost. You can book a 10 to 15 minutes appointment with NCI's local staff member uh, who will guide you how to maximize the amount of scholarship or there are different programs which are available and just to get to know, you know, NCI staff a little bit more. So I would encourage you to check the link in the description box below and you know, make sure to put Danish Bhatia, basically my name, into the, you know, into the form. And then that will help you a lot more in uh, getting to know about the scholarship and what's the maximum amount that you can get and how you can go about applying for the same. And lastly, just before I end the video, like I have been getting this question a lot these days that Danish, I have, uh, you know, paid partial fees for XYZ course at National College of Ireland. Is that okay? So friends, I'd say uh, not to do that. Well, obviously, you can do that if you are having some sort of emergency situation or if you are into the deciding phase or if you are having second options or second thoughts. You can obviously reserve your seat by paying partial fees. But once you have decided, right, I'd say just go about and pay full fees in advance. The reason why I say that is because NCI's scores go really, really quickly. You won't even realize that one at one you know instance you were having some sort of seat confirmation but at the same time somebody else ended up paying the fees and he got the seat over you so nci's courses are really really competitive i'd say don't hold off the fees and just pay the fees in advance you know book the seat confirm your seat uh, and then start packing for national college of ireland so that's me thanks very much for taking the time and i hope this video serves as a helpful resource for you and if still if there are any other questions you know where to find me uh, the comment box welcomes your queries and questions and i'll try my level best to answer 
all of that immediately. Thank you very much for taking the time and all the very best.